David's Perfume. Bam. This is how I shot a perfume commercial for David Dobrik. David's Perfume by me. <laughs> How is it going y'all? It's awesome to see you tuned back in. So I'm a huge fan of David Dobrik's videos. And when I found out he was coming out with his own perfume brand, I immediately knew what my next project should be. Holy shit. Okay, so during the entire Corona period, David Dobrik hasn't posted a video on either of his YouTube channels. And he just came out with a new video for David's perfume. That's David's own perfume brand. And that gave me an idea. And that is by ordering his new perfume online, get it fastly delivered over to Finland and make a product video out of that. My plan for this video wasn't just to create your traditional perfume ad, but to create a product video of David's perfume that is specially tailor-made to match David's personality. Personality he shows us in his videos, that energetic positive vibe. Finally, two, two and a half weeks later, perfume arrived. Uh, I've been tracking the UPS code for, I feel, it feels like forever now, but it finally came. I only ended up buying one of them. I didn't buy the other one. The one that I bought is this amber and cashmere. Damn, it's actually pretty nice. After getting to know the perfume, it was time to get to work. From Dave's actual perfume video, I wanted to take something from mine as well. And that was the bit with the pool. In David's video, he fell into this pool. So with mine, I wanted to do exactly the same. I'm setting up my tank and with this, I'm placing light blue backdrop right beneath the tank. That's gonna imitate the pool. And uh, for this, I got my Kodox. So this light is gonna shoot up, giving us a nice backlight for the product when it's in the tank as well. I then filmed a couple of clean product shots on Lazy Susan, from mid shots to tighter shots of the label to get coverage of cutaways of the product. I wanted to open the film from the black and then revealing the product with different light tricks. This first shot is gonna be combined of two, uh, two different shots. First of all, I'm gonna start it with my P90 Kodox on a C stand. I'm gonna turn it so that it'll turn from a 90 degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman, okay? Yeah. 90 degree angle back on top of the perfume, and then I'll stop there, and then I'll quickly go and grab my small LED light and do the sides of the perfume and sort of like bring already like the speed and energy with only using light. Ideas for the rest of the video was gonna come from David himself. By watching his videos, I've learned that he loves his Elon Musk flamethrower. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me adding fire to spice up this video was a no-brainer. I still gotta do one more fire shot, but I'll try to be more careful and not light my Kodox on fire. But yeah, if you do play with fire, you only got one product, um, do those shot the last, because you never know what might happen. I actually almost burnt down my entire studio. So, David, if you're seeing this, please like the video. Like the video, David, come on! I normally shoot all my ending shots first, but with this video, I wanted to see how it would progress as I build it from the ground up, from the beginning towards the end, maybe giving me more ideas for a possible ending. 
<laughs> going into the last shot of the film and we are going out with a bang like David always does so we got these confettis that are going to be explode all around the product in the final shot and then we're also using these starlight sticks sort of like portraying fireworks like the ones they got in the actual ad yeah final shot let's go using confetti in the final hero shot uh, wasn't just because David uses it but also to add color it reminded me of David's crazy videos <laughs> Then I also wanted to add that trademark Davy laughter to the end. <laughs> and that is it for this shoot. I really hope you guys like this video. Whoa! I gotta get more of these. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one.